something strange happened to me yesterday. I felt very weird, mentally. I went to the doctors today, and he ran some tests on my brain. The test results came back, and it turns out I'm positive. Positive for PSVR2, and some other stuff as well. And it's hard not to be positive, because I'm in that stage, in my abusive relationship with Sony, where I've stood up for myself, I've told them I'm taking the kids, I'm moving in with my sister, and they've started to take me seriously. So they're love bombing me with all these PSVR2 games, and it's working. I think they've really changed. Yesterday's Stays with Play not only gave us an update on Metro Awakening, which is looking really nice, but also surprised us with two other PSVR2 games that we never saw coming. First one was The Midnight Walk which has this cool kind of creepy claymation art style. I'm a little bit confused as to how the game will actually play in virtual reality, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The other big announcement and my personal favorite was Hitman World of Assassination coming to PSVR 2 this December, and the trailer and press release that developers IO Interactive put out after the reveal seems very reassuring that they aren't going to repeat the mistakes of past Hitman VR iterations. And if you own the flat version already on PS5, you can get it as an update for only $9.99. But even if you don't, this is three games in one, and if they don't mess it up, it's going to be easy to recommend, even at full price. So that was a crazy good day for PS4 2, but that wasn't it, because the very next day, Sony Pictures Virtual Reality tweeted out this. Recruits, eyes front, listen up. September 30th. Remember that date. Be here for a big announcement that you can't miss. You don't get me, troopers! So if you don't know who that guy was, that was Rico from Starship Troopers. And if you don't know what Starship Troopers is, it's basically where Helldivers got all their inspiration from. And of course, if you don't know what Helldivers is, it's that big game, you know, got very big earlier on this year. And if you don't know what a game is, a game is a structured type of play usually undertaken for entertainment or fun and sometimes used as an educational tool. If you don't know what a tool is, Anyway, they seem to be teasing a Starship Troopers and PSVR 2 crossover, and it's worth mentioning that there's a Starship Troopers game coming out in mid-October, so maybe, just maybe, we get a PSVR 2 mod in that game. But be careful not to get your hopes up too high, because it could just be something completely different, like one of those weird Spider-Man movie tie-in games that we got on PSVR 1. Some kind of weird experience like that, who knows, could be anything. But still, it's hard not to get excited. Hence why I'm testing positive for PSVR 2. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still worried about PSVR 2, very worried. I think 2025 and beyond, there's a lot of questions. All these games, as good as they are, as cool as they are, are they gonna be enough to get people over that price that I feel really needs to drop permanently? I'm not so sure about that. I am a man in a hot desert. I'm worried I'll die of dehydration. Sony have thrown me a few bottles of water, enough to get me to 2025. After that though, I might have to start drinking my own piss. But that's a problem for another day. Today, let's just enjoy the positivity for PS4 2. Soak it in. Let me thank my channel members, whose names are on screen as I speak. They are the following. Dead Eye Dan, Minus, Geza, Mr. 777, Aced, Edify Till I Die, Superfly AF, Crum, Pete Hawkins, the Governor VR, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Plank71, Esports Commentator for Hire, No One Knows, and Muzz. Thank you very much for that support. It is greatly appreciated. And thank you for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you subscribed us. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay moist.